Right, Canyon Springs Golf Course by Pito. Brand new. Brand new. Out this week. Three hundred and fifty one yards. I'm gonna I'm gonna go between different clubs just to get me swing in. <laughs> it must have been downhill. The best thing about, I do these things and I'm meant to be looking at the course as a whole. And it looks good. It, you can tell it's the basic course. No disrespect to the designer, I make rubbish courses. But you can tell by the trees and the layout that it's a basic course. But the thing is, the course plays exactly the same whether it looks basic or whether it looks fantastic, the difference between Grey Wolf and any of the Great Punjani's or Jay Rockaways or uh, Pac Man, Rump and Run, the golf boy, you can go on, they make their courses look fantastic, but just to play a course that is your home course or a course that you've played before, it all plays the same no matter whether the look is different, but the course is the same. And it's just awesome. I'm sure Pete Toad, he played, he's got to play these, the ones he makes. And he must think, this is just brilliant. Because I make them, and they're not great. I haven't got the patience for them. I haven't got the patience for most things. Um, but when you design a course, when you're not design a course, when you build a course, and you, you can only put the greens where the greens are meant to go, and they run a certain way, you go back and play the courses and you play them totally different because of GS Pro or a golf simulator. I mean, I play my home course and I struggled with it. I built it on here and now I know exactly where to go on the greens because I can see the undulation of the greens and where to hit it to. And instead of driving up there and driving back, especially in this British weather at the moment, it's awful. You drive up there, drive back, you're not really into it. Here, you're into it. You're just looking and you're seeing what you can do. On a course, there's probably somebody behind you or people in front of slow or something like that. There's always something. I mean, it's great on the course, don't get me wrong. The course is fantastic. Big seven. Big seven down here. But just to play any course, where's he going now? At home. Just lately, <laughs> just lately, this is what I mean. First time on it, I didn't know it was going that way. Just lately, some of the greens. I don't think I've ever been on a green and rolled off it, like centre of the green and rolled off it. Just lately, some of the builds that are coming up, the greens are just, you just slide off on them. I don't think in England I've ever hit a green and hit the centre of the green or, or five yards on a green and ever rolled to the outside. They must make them different. We must have concave and you must have convex. And I overdid that one to get it up there.
Hey, dead, dead flat for a change. Oh, I missed it totally. Hit it too hard, aim too hard. First. I don't know why I picked these balls up over there. I've got loads it to get me through the three holes. I only play three holes. Because you guys don't want to see the whole course. You want to play it yourselves. Eight iron. in front of there. Oh, I've seen these plants on Unity. I know I thought, do I use them? Do I not? They look good. Oh, I've seen them. Unity, yeah. Brilliant. Fair play. He's used them. Five, four, three. There's no reason to take a driver. Don't know why. It's a very, very tight hole. This is. Look at that. Out of bounds and out of bounds. That's in the out of bounds. Stop. That was a lazy swing. That was a real lazy swing. If I lazy swing, it always goes right. Yeah. Going over the farmer's field, you ain't gonna like it. That was a very lazy swing by me. You go anywhere, anywhere near I was aiming it. Send it out. Utility, is it in deep rough? It's in rough. Utility, I'm going to exit left on this one. Sit left. That was better. Josh Oddy. Exit left. What a play. Cool. 